This is a gummy bear, and this is gummy search. So gummy search is basically a way to dig deep into Reddit. Um, I haven't really been a huge Reddit user because I felt it was just, I don't know, all over the place. But gummy search kind of simplifies the whole process and gives you this beautiful uh, dashboard to work with um, and organize everything much easier. Um, it's gummy search is great to find potential clients, your target audience, new business, see what's trending, what people are talking about on Reddit, um, to do research, uh, to look at memes, funny jokes, basically everything that's happening in the Reddit world, which there's a lot there. Um, and it can be overwhelming if you just use Reddit because you don't know where to start. They do have a search fun function on Reddit, but it can get pretty chaotic pretty quickly. So what Gummy Search does is it breaks down your uh, audiences, which are your subreddit groups. Um, so you have these little little parts of Reddit that will talk about different things, different discussions, um, and they're they're named obviously different Reddit names. Um, so what Gummy Search gives you is you can set up your audiences, and you know by each category. Uh, and right now we'll go through. These are some that I set up earlier. But if you want to start, you hit new. And let's say we're going to make our first audience. We go for movies. Keep it simple and fun. And now what Gummy Search does is it goes to Reddit searching for these subreddit groups that have something to do with movies. So we could select this movie subreddit group, right? Gives you little descriptions below them. Uh, bad movies, Netflix, and you can select these to add them to our audience named movies. Um, yeah, that looks fine. So we'll just add three subreddits. Now we'll create the audience. So now in our movies audience section of Gummy Search, we have hot discussions, top content, solution requests, advice requests, pain and anger, ideas, money talk, opportunities. And then we have our three communities that we selected. Um, we can always add more if, if we want to discover more communities to add. We can add other keywords like, uh, you know, Star Wars. Let's see if anything shows up there. And it's digging through Reddit to find any Star Wars subreddit groups. And here we go. So it's fetching some Star Wars subreddit groups. We can add this one. <clears throat> The Cantina, let's add those two. Oh, action figures for Star Wars. Actually, no, it has just everything, toys and stuff like that. Uh, I guess we could add if we want. We could always take it out later. So now you see we added more subreddit groups to our movies audience section. Now we can go up here and just check out what the hot discussions are in our movie audience. You can filter them out, gives you 50 results right here um, by recent, uh, the ones that have the highest upvotes and the most comments. Let's go to recent and then in here, say this gets a little crazy, we can click on any of them and it'll it'll show you, all right, there's some Star Wars toys. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, so as you can see, you can go through them. Close this, alpha. Halo, I don't know what that is. That's some video game thing. All right, you could even click on to view the source, or you can view it on Reddit to see where it's located. Now, if say I wanted uh, to, it's too overwhelming. Let's search for keyword Star Wars through the hot discussion section, and then these will come out. Uh, what is your Star Wars preferences? And then it'll just show you all the Star Wars. Close that out. You can look at top content, Doctor Strange, and the multiverse. Oh, that's cool. But I can't watch that right now. So what I'll do is I can save it for later. And we're going to kind of bookmark that, save it. And we can call this uh, Marvel Movies. Turn. And what that's going to do is it's going to save that into another section over here in conversations. And then we see here 
Marvel movies. And then you could save as many as you'd like. So you have this here, you can look at it later. Um, you can view the source on YouTube. Again, you can go to Reddit. So we have that there. I've also saved some other. I started saving a memes, my favorite memes that I can put in here. Um, and then also we can track keywords, um, which is pretty cool. So I basically entered in my SEO audience uh, that I wanted schema to be tracked. And as you can see, anytime schema is mentioned in SEO, in my SEO audience, it'll pull up that. And then I can, I believe, have these um, updates emailed over to me. Uh, there's different frequencies, daily or weekly. I haven't really dug that deep into that yet, but it's pretty neat. This way, if anything's happening with schema and they're talking about it in Reddit, I get notified. I can look through here and see what's happening. The most recent ones, ones that are upvoted, most popular. And we'll close out of that. So we can go back to audiences. Um, let's go back to our movie section or movies. So you have top content, solution requests, advice, opportunities, money talk, ideas, go through all of these. Um, and then we have all our subreddits down here um, where you can find out, you know, what's going on in the group, um, the topics, popular phrases happening, posts, no stats available yet, nothing yet for top contributors. Uh, if we want to view the Reddit group on Reddit, go straight there. All right. So within our audience, we can go to keyword research in movies and we could type in Marvel. And then there's another way to find all the Marvel films, everybody, what they're talking about. If anyone's talking about Marvel, something will come up, you know, post scene here, close that, search through it. Um, we have, this is the most recent. So we could go by upvotes, which will give you the most popular uh, discussion. So right now, this one was uh, February 12th this year. 11 upvotes, has some comments. And it's about this, I guess this is the uh, Hawkeye broken arm figure, which is kind of cool. All right. You know, we could save this for later if we want or bookmark it. Let's save it. We'll put it in our Marvel movies folder or we could make a new one. Um, so that's neat. Go there, track keywords. No track keywords yet. So let's say we wanted to do, um, I don't know if this will show up, but 80s, 80s movie. All right, so we have some 80s movies. So anytime someone mentions 80s movies, we'll hit this little track button, 80s movies in movies, or we just call it 80s movies, track keyword. Okay, this keyword has been tracked. You'll see notifications for new matching conversations. All right, cool. So now we can go back to our conversation section and you'll see right here, 80s movies is now being tracked. So anytime someone mentions something on Reddit about 80s movies, I like 80s movies, therefore I will get all the dirt on the 80s movies. So Gummy Search is very cool. Um, it gets you through all the clutter, gets your information together in a nice dashboard. The UI is beautiful. Um, the founder is very cool, very responsive. Um, he's on social media, on Twitter, by email. Don't think he's on Facebook yet. Um, so if you want to see what people are talking about, you know, tap into that target audience, um, get research for articles, um, social media, just see what's happening. If you want to look up artwork, science, gardens, SEO, fun memes, crayons, whatever floats your boat, and it's happening on Reddit and you want to get that information quickly and you might want to save it for later. Um, yeah. Try Gummy Search. Has a seven day trial period, I believe. Give it a shot. See if you like it. Leave something in the comments. Let me know. Good, bad. This is Joe signing off. Talk soon.